Hello, it's uh, Friday afternoon at uh, 1.30, a little after uh, 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. And it's uh, Small Biz David here. We're preparing for our weekend uh, time with you in the community. Saturday mornings uh, at a website called stickham.com, stickham.com. We have been doing uh, videos, live streaming there for uh, over three years now, and more than two million page views uh, have been created in that uh, three plus years uh, of time. We have a lot of friends uh, that follow us on Saturdays and, and Sundays at stickham.com slash I don't know if it uh, if you can get there through Small Biz David. You can definitely get there through David Leopold. We were supposed to have changed. I don't know if it's gotten changed, but it's uh, stickham s t i c k a m dot com forward slash uh, David Leopold or uh, Small Biz David. Additionally, uh, we are over the weekends because of the way that we just broadcast over the weekends, you will be able to do a uh, live video chat with me using stickham.com's technology. So that's, uh, if you can understand how to do that, we can do a live video chat. Uh, or you can Skype me at Small Biz David, Small Biz David, and the Skype screen is uh, actually is this one. So while we are broadcasting live at stickham.com on that camera, we might be doing a YouTube video on that camera, this camera, <laughs> uh, or we might be doing a Skype conversation with you that is uh, viewable through our um, through our YouTube camera pretty interesting uh, that what you can do with uh, technology today and if you understand how to make all of that work for you uh, as we have done in uh, David's barter community we started on a journey several years ago well maybe 40 years ago <laughs> uh, you and, and and today uh, just sharing the social marketing experiences that we've had uh, for the last 40 years, as well as the sales experiences sometimes, the customer care experiences. Uh, we have, have worked with um, millions of customers, uh, particularly uh, on the telephone, not me personally, but I, I engineered a program where uh, there was one-to-one -one contact, both phone calls coming into a customer care base, uh, as well as uh, phone calls being placed, uh, placed outbound telephone calls. The marketing of the last 40 years has not changed. The marketing concepts, the marketing principles. What has changed is that how people communicate with one another. Subsequently, if you are to market to those folks, you have to understand uh, where that, where the, where, where the folks are communicating, be it Facebook, be it LinkedIn, be it Twitter, be it stickham.com, be it YouTube. Uh, those are all places where um, a lot of folks go every day uh, to communicate with one another. So if you are marketing, the challenge becomes how to uh, reach those folks. You hear me talk a lot about uh, direct mail postcards. I love direct mail postcards. And with some new technology that was just put into place, you can take a direct mail postcard uh, and, and, and put a QR code on it and direct people from a postcard right to your landing page. You don't get any more real time and more dynamic uh, than that. That's all part of the social marketing. It's all part of this social network technology. Uh, 
um, Curtis, our uh, chief technology officer, he's been developing different web projects for the last 13 years. And in his uh, desire to drive traffic to uh, any one of the many, many websites that he has done, he has to understand how the technology, uh, the search technology basically works. And uh, we are very happy to say all the things that uh, we have done from a social marketing, social network technology perspective. If you Google either David's Barter, the name of our community, uh, or Small Biz David, uh, my avatar character, you find a full page of, of Google search results. And I, I guess it doesn't get any better than that when you uh, dominate those full pages. So now our challenge is to understand what it was about what we did among the many things that we do that got the search engine's attention to create uh, that result, that results page. And uh, it's very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> my last look at David's barter, and theoretically it could change. Matter of fact, we're trying to make it change. We're trying to understand because we have these positions, is there something that we can do to uh, create additional uh, information, stickiness, whatever. After our link farm, we have uh, something I did on Twitter. Our Twitter following now is uh, over 10,000 uh, and growing with some technology things we're doing. The search engines, Google picked up three YouTubes that I've done in the last, uh, let's see, since February 25th. This is kind of interesting. I did one on February 25th, and I did it again and added two words on March 12th, and it created a higher listing. So an optimized landing page uh, gets trumped by a very optimized landing page. Uh, and then they really found uh, a YouTube that I did, uh, Small Biz David uses Google every day. Of course, I would find that on YouTube. Speaking of which, my plan is uh, pretty much every day for a while to uh, dig into my red Google bag uh, that I got this last summer on the Google Roadshow. And uh, every day I'll be going into the bag uh, and picking something out uh, that obviously has to do with Google. Uh, this is probably my favorite topic of conversation. Why Google will win was really not done in the form of a question. Um, but I feel Google will win. Well, it's not a, a matter of winning against Apple, Facebook, and Amazon, which is really the the thrust of the question. Each one of those four are winners in their own right doing what they do. As a matter of fact, the four of them do what they do better than anybody else. And so, yes, there's some inner activity, inner competition, if you will. I don't think it's that important. It's, it's, it's more important that they uh, maintain the leadership position that they have uh, in, in, in what it is, what their core business is. And that's kind of interesting, too, because uh, Google's core business is search. Uh, but they uh, have done so well with the search technology and continue to do so. Uh, they've been able to get into other kinds of uh, technology investments. And big announcements from Google this week, as a matter of fact. Uh, Yesterday, a uh, two for one stock uh, offer was announced. Non preferred stock, but nonetheless, 
uh, a two-for-one stock offering to shareholders. Uh, for every share uh, they have, they would get one additional share. That will be good, and having said that, a great time to invest in uh, Google. Always a great time to invest in a company, a financially strong company that splits uh, two for one split, three for one split, whatever it might be. Great time to, uh, it took them a lot of strength to be able to offer that split uh, to their shareholders. And so there's no reason to believe that there could be another split somewhere else down the road and pay dividends along the way. Speaking about uh, very optimized landing pages, a lot of controversy has been uh, created about uh, some new uh, a new algorithm uh, that Google is putting in place uh, that actually penalizes those uh, landing pages that are over optimized and it seems like I'm uh, in a minority by taking the position uh, I'm, I'm surprised it took Google this long uh, to penalize bad marketing I guess they were uh, they wanted to be nice about it so that's why it took this long they want to be the night they want to be Larry Page talks about this about you want to be nice, nice company. Uh, Larry and Sergey, uh, really interesting uh, individuals to follow. Yes, Google continue to penalize for excessive SEO. The other side of the argument is with good SEO uh, understanding, you can produce uh, search results that create a full page of, of listings. Anything will take you to our community uh, or something happening in our community. And uh, that's that's all happened in less than, well, a little, little over six weeks, seven weeks probably, where we've actually tied in all the uh, available technologies uh, that we have available to us. And uh, we're real proud of that. Uh, sometime this weekend, we're going to uh, do a, uh, a, a YouTube on U.S. business startup activity drops in 2011. Why did it drop? Uh, why should it move forward, uh, dramatically move forward, particularly in light of the fact that the number of new jobs being created, it was just announced, we talked about it either last week or earlier this week, that uh, there were only... Um, Hundred and well, I've got things all over the place. 120,000, uh, 120,000 new jobs created in the month of March. A couple years ago, we told you, we shared with you uh, a, re a research study done by the Kauffman Foundation uh, in Kansas City uh, that said uh, at that time, and it was about two and a half years ago, that in order for our economy at that time to get back into some type of normalcy, uh, there would have to be 300,000 new jobs created every month for a period of 36 months, about three years, in order to get back. Well, things started to head in the right direction and slowed off and continued to head in the right direction until last month. Uh, there were 120,000 less jobs created, new jobs created in March than were in February. Um, my response to that is take advantage of the opportunity and start creating job number one for yourself today. Because when you start a business, uh, particularly with the new business model, the new small business model, which is one of small business collaboration, uh, when you create and start a new business today versus when I started my first business over 40 years ago, uh, it's, it's, it's something different. Now is an, a time when small businesses together can start businesses together or folks can start businesses together 
and working together with one another uh, to collaborate and in helping each other grow a third entity uh, then, then grows. And that's what small business uh, collaboration is all about. Uh, and the social marketing, social network technology that exists in David's Barter community, which is making us grow and expand, there's no reason why it can't do the same for you, doing the same things that we do, creating your own value proposition as we create our own uh, value proposition. That's what you need to do. And we know the other things work and work, uh, work well. By the way, uh, we will use all of our understanding about search engine optimization to bring traffic uh, to the front door once to our community. Actually, there's two front doors to the community. Uh, the old way, uh, a second way that we've created, uh, and uh, we're actually redesigning the old way. So it's going to stay the same at the same page, but it's it's going to be a redesigned effort that will take you to davidsvarder.com. You can create, start, develop a new small business with a YouTube presence and a community landing page. We're doing it, and there's no reason why you can't be doing it for yourself. And we show you how to do that. And we show you what's working for us. And if it's working for us, we try to share with you why it's working for us. Uh, then once folks uh, get inside the community, they register, create a complimentary marketing profile because that's how people are going to find you in the community by the keywords that you use uh, on your marketing profile. That's how people will find their way to you. There aren't tabs. Uh, there are search engines, local search engines. And so the, 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 the sharper uh, optimize your, your, your marketing profile is, uh, the, that's how you will drive traffic there. And if you so desire to lease that space around you on that landing page, and we'll show you uh, davidsbarter.com, Small Biz David, uh, the very first landing page, mine, uh, and we'll show you the different technologies that are at play. On Sunday, too, uh, we'll be talking about the launch of the most exciting thing uh, that I have ever done in uh, the last 40 years, uh, and that's our community fun game. We're going to show you that starting a new business can be fun, can create cash flow, very high margin cash flow, and uh, for that landing page, that uh, well, it's actually seven different landing pages in seven different classifications, will share in an earned a 2012 earned cash flow bonus to be given to uh, the seven landing pages that create the most cash flow within their given categories. A very uh, exciting contest. Uh, we'll show you how, to, how, how it's done. Hopefully, uh, all the technology will, will be in place. Uh, we're supposed to do a final test uh, to the technology tomorrow uh, so that on Sunday morning starting at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time uh, the, the game will be played. Uh, a lot of things are going to happen. Come back. Uh, visit us at YouTube. Uh, Small Biz David. Please come to David's Barter community and Get involved and, and, and create a community marketing profile for yourself, complimentary, so that in today's world, uh, the power of technology and search technology, uh, people will be able to find their way uh, to you because uh, how you, uh, because of the value proposition that you bring. That's why they're going to come to you, uh, looking for the value proposition, and we can help make that happen for you. David's Barter Community. See you uh, uh, live uh, Sunday morning, 
7.30 Eastern Standard Time at stickham.com. Uh, if, if you don't see it, uh, typically when I'm on live, uh, it'll tell you on the home page that I'm on live, and all you have to do is click there, and you'll get to, uh, you'll get to our live stream. It's very, very uh, interesting technology that we've enjoyed uh, working with for the uh, last three plus years. See you Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time.